today I've got a, another $200 Smy World Funko Pop Mystery Box. So I opened one of these up recently, and I did pretty well on it actually. I got over $280 back in value for the $200 price point. So I consider that a pretty big W. What this box was. So this was called the Smy Kitchen Sink Mystery Box. Kitchen sink, what are you talking about? Well, let's find out. Smy Kitchen Sink, 20 boxes, $200 a box. One out of five boxes has a minimum over 250 in value, so four boxes out of the 20 will be 250 plus. Top boxes were $350. It says, welcome to the Smy Kitchen Sink. The kitchen sink means anything goes. Oversized, mint, damaged, designer toys, and more. We will have some left field surprises, some higher in value pops, and all around fun boxes here. All designer toys that you might find in this box will be set at the retail value, at the retail cost of stores. Funko products will use PPG value. Guaranteed one pop from the main picture. And top hits are like the 2015 Galactic Convention Shock Trooper, Wally Coyote Funko Shop Exclusive, the Luke Skywalker, the Jedi, the Black Box. Um, those are kind of the top three hits. In bold print, it says, do you take the plunge into Smy's kitchen sink? In bigger print, it says, do not buy this box if you do not enjoy toys other than Funko. Last box has some designer toys and had actually pretty good value to them, so I'm cool with that. I'm a flipper. If I can sell a toy, doesn't matter what it is, I'm cool with that. So most of the pops are mint, considering some are older and vaulted. So some of the older can have some minor box wear, it says. You know, that's, that's to be expected for older pops. So here you go. Ready? 200 bucks. Smy Kitchen Sink Funko Pop Mystery Box and more. Okay. Little peek. And that's all you get. That's it right there. That's it. This paper out of the way. Let me fill around a little bit. Okay. This box actually feels like it has less in it than my first box I opened up. Feels like there's less. I could be wrong now. I could be wrong. Here you go. First item. It's a bigger box. And we have... <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Orca and Friends. Martian Toys. Orca and for this is one of the uh, designer toys from the brand Martian Toys called Orca and Friends. This might have a value of like 20, 30 bucks on it. I don't know. I'll make sure to update in the video kind of like what the value is of a lot of this stuff. Because we can figure out how well or how bad I did, you know. Well, actually, it's guaranteed value, so I can't I can't lose any money. Look, there's the first item. Orca and Friends. No idea what that is, but hopefully it has good value to it. Here we go, next item. Okay, this thing's still sealed. I don't know if that's good or if that's bad, but it's still factory sealed. TQ63, okay, so the last box had one called TR67, the construct figure. And that one cost like a hundred bucks brand new. Or that was the retail value. On eBay, people were selling it or listing it between like $125 to like $200. Nothing that's sold yet, but it's probably worth, you know, like the retail value. So this is actually the same brand, I think. I think. Maybe not. It might not be the same brand. But this is Martian Toys TEQ63, the in game quest. So it's still sealed, so I don't want to open it up because, but sometimes it's possible you might have to actually crack this open to see maybe what's actually inside of it because it might be different variations maybe. This will take some research on mine to figure out what this is, how much it's worth, and is it worth more sealed or open because, like I said, it might have like variants to it where you actually do want to open it just to find out. I don't know, but. Okay, two designer toys to start with. Some of those can have some crazy value to them. I've only got like, a couple more things in here, maybe two or three. We have Home Training Ducku, Pop Mart Ducku. I have no clue. <laughs> Home Training Ducku. So this is like a little mini figurine. 
Some of these, the designer stuff can be kind of expensive. Some of these figures they can get out of this can be much more rare than the other ones. Like they have like secret like variations and like hidden variations. Um, it's still a fighter seal. I'm going to keep it sealed because I'm not going to keep this. I'm actually going to sell this. This might have some crazy value to it. I don't really know. I have to do some research on this, find out. Actually, the first three things are all going to be research, finding out how much those first three things actually are worth or what they sell for. Got one. Oh, actually, this, this box only has one pop in it. That's it. My first box had three pops. And this one has one Funko Pop. Here we go. We have a Funko Soda. And we got, oh, nice. We got Freddie Mercury Funko Soda. I actually might have to keep this because I'm a huge Queen fan. I've always loved Queen. A huge fan of uh, Freddie Mercury. I think he has one of the best voices ever in like rock and roll history. I might have to keep this. I'll keep it sealed though too. I won't uh, open up. I'll keep it sealed. I might have to keep Freddie. I might have to keep... Actually, honestly, I'll tell you right now, I'm probably going to keep Freddy. This will be the first Funko Soda I've ever kept. I've never actually bought any still. Or, no. I bought a couple from the Funko shop, and I sold those, like, sealed in a whatnot auction. This will be the first one that I actually... I think... I'm actually going to keep that. Freddy Mercury. Cool. I wonder what the chase looks like. There is a chase on this. Don't know what it looks like. Okay. Freddy Mercury. And we have one... We've got one Funko Pop. That's it. This might be a good Funko Pop. I mean, because these sell for like 12 bucks, sealed. And these three designer toys, I don't know. I mean, this thing, mother, one like this sold for like $100 retail. So this could be like 100 These right here might might be like 150 maybe total, 100 Now, this could be a pretty nice pop right here. This could, this could be a big one. Let me find the top of it. Here, there's the top. Here you go, one pop. Mother box from this series had three pops. It says one, you ready? What'd I get? Ooh, the back says, Hello Kitty. Is that a, that's actually, that's the original Hello Kitty. That's actually an older one. This might have some good value to it. I don't see a year. No, I don't see a year on this. Um. Is that it? Yes, that, that is it. I have no clue how much Hello Kitty is worth. Let me go back to the main picture. You got one hit. Okay, this is actually a bottom row picture. On, on the actual main picture, it's on the very bottom row. So, this is probably not very valuable. <laughs> but let's find out. I'm going to pull up the WhatNot app. Look at PPG value. It'll tell you quickly what the PPG value is. And on WhatNot. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Wow. Let's see condition real quick. Before I tell much things, I have no idea is this expensive. That box is actually really decent condition. What year was this? Actually, let me look at the Funko app. Funko App will actually tell me year that it was made. Funko App said 2013. Okay, so 20, 2013. Vaulted. I'd say this thing is 9, almost 9.5 out of 10 condition. This thing is really good shape. Anyway, PPG value on this 8-year-old Hello Kitty. This is obviously the original Hello Kitty. $165. Do you know what? It was worth that much? <laughs> I'm okay with that. So I'm pretty sure with these three designer toys and this and this, yeah, I I think I did pretty well in this box. I probably got maybe as high as 250 back, maybe even more. I think I I think I did okay. I think I did. I'm I'm happy with that. So the box price was a hundred and or no box price was 200 bucks, and just the one pop I got out was worth 165 dollars. And this being an eight year old pop. In this condition, this will sell over PPG. Guarantee it every time it does. This will probably sell between 175 to 190. This will almost pay for probably almost the entire box. So that's a nice hit. Happy with that. So nice. Took to the gamble with the Smile World kitchen sink with two boxes. And honestly, I'm very happy with the contents.
I'm very impressed. I'm glad I bought these. So Smile World freaking home run. So I'll see you next time with some more mystery boxes.